In this video, I want to show you how to make wireless power transmitter without using any wire coil, but by using the copper traces on the PCB as a transmitting and receiving coil. This is my circuit. This circuit consists of a coil, power transistor, and an oscillator. The oscillator connected to the base of the power transistor, so the power transistor switched on and off the current through the coil and the coil produce electromagnetic field around itself. This electromagnetic field can be picked up by the receiver coil and convert to usable power to light up LEDs, running small fan, charging small battery and something like that. But how much should be the frequency of the transistor switching? The switching frequency should be equal to the resonance frequency of this inductor and this capacitor. It have to be calculated by this formula. But since I don't know how much will be the inductance of this coil when it printed on the PCB, so I postpone the calculation of the switching frequency to after PCB arrival. I convert this circuit to PCB and went to PCBWay.com. Insert your PCB size, quantity and color. Click Add to Cart, upload your Gerber file and complete the payment. After two months, I received my package. First of all, I split off the receiver and the transmitter from each other. Then I measured the inductance of the coil printed on the PCB using my LCR meter. As you can see, the inductance is equal to 3 microhenry. And the capacitor I would like to use is 100 nanofarad. However, the real capacitance of this capacitor is only 83 nanofarad. By using the resonance frequency formula, I find that the switching frequency of the transistor should be 319 kHz. To achieve this frequency by using a triple 5 IC, this resistor should be 18 kilo ohm, this one 20 kilo ohm and this capacitor 40 picofarad. I soldered the components on the PCB and checked the frequency of the output pin number 3. It was close enough to the desired frequency. I connected some LEDs to the receiver coil as a load and as you can see the circuit working. Since the output voltage in the receiver coil is an AC voltage, so I connect the LEDs in different directions. In this case, in the positive cycle of the AC voltage, the first group of the LEDs lights up, and in the negative cycle, the second group lights up. But because the frequency is very high, the human eyes can't see the light flashing. The next load that I would like to connect to the receiver coil is a small DC fan motor. You have to put a diode here and some capacitors. As you can see, it's working. You can order this PCB from PCBWay.com. I leave the link below in the description. By the way, I take this motor from the USB fan. They are cheap and I have a lot of them in my home. And finally, let's see, does my circuit working with a commercial wireless charger or not? As you can see, the LEDs just flashing. The reason for that because the commercial wireless charger start to emit in power just when detect the phone. So this is a kind of communication between the charger and the phone. Unlike my wireless transmitter that drawing current whether the receiver attached or not. Commercial wireless charger using much more complex circuitry to stop drawing current when no phone attached. This fan, however, keep going by helps of the capacitors. To solving the problem of drying current in a standby state, I used a read switch and neodymium magnet. In this case, the transmitter switched on just when the receiver coil attached. As you can see here, you can order this PCB from PCBWay.com. I leave the link below in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.